All right, up for your consideration is this beautiful coin-operated carousel horse. It was originally designed and manufactured for Chuck E. Cheese. So uh, maybe your your kids or you have even ridden on this before. It was that in Homa, Louisiana, uh, Chuck E. Cheese. It is all original. Nothing's been restored on it. There are a couple of lights out on it. As you can see, it's supposed to be cycling through all of these lights. There's a couple of them that don't light up. Um, lights on top. This one over here is dim for some reason. It does light, but it's, it's dim. I don't know why. Um, it's currently set to take three coins. It can be adjusted from anywhere between one and five coins. Um, the lights and the music and there's a greeting on it, that's all optional. You can disable it completely or you can adjust it to your own music or greeting. There is some, some worn paint, some chipped paint. Um, there are some chipped edges here and there. It is 20 years old. The base of it is about five and a half feet wide. <clears throat> the way it currently sits, it is six and a half feet tall. There is an umbrella that mounts to the top of it. Um, I have it off right now for obvious reasons. If the umbrella were, were fastened to it, it will be eight and a half feet tall. Our kids have outgrown it, and um, honestly, we can we can use the office space. So reluctantly, we're gonna try to get rid of it. Um, we this will be coming from a smoke-free, pet-free home. And like I said, right now we have it set for three three coins, but like it can be adjusted uh, between one and five coins. Please insert another token. Recognize Chuck E. Cheese's voice. <laughs> Do not leave your children unattended. So again, those, right. those greetings could be yes. adjusted or disabled completely, as well as the music and lights. <clears throat> the current ride time is one minute. That could be adjusted also. I think anywhere between 30 seconds and three minutes ride time, whichever you like. The uh, owner's manual will come with it. It's inside of the machine right now. <clears throat> it gives detailed instructions on how to change all of that. It has a safety feature on it. Um, if the kids arrive and one of them falls off or decides to get off for whatever reason, it detects that and it will stop the motor from turning. I thought that was pretty cool. Again, it's 20 years old, so some of these white hey, buttons are missing off of it. Doesn't affect anything at all. I'm just letting you know. Um, we're asking $2,000. <clears> um, the buyer will have to arrange shipping. I mean, I can help somehow, but um, it's really heavy. I think shipping's going to cost a lot. It would be great if we can sell it locally and someone can come pick it up. We can surely help. But this um, this thing's going to have to be disassembled completely to get it out of the house. Um, so whoever buys it, if you want, I can leave it disassembled. Or I can disassemble it, remove it from my house, put it in my driveway and reassemble it. Attach it to a pallet or something. It's the base of it that's really heavy. There's um, metal framing and the electric motors and everything. It makes, it makes it heavy. Of course, I've never weighed it. But if I had to guess, the unit in whole weighs roughly five to 600 pounds with the base again um, taking